Look who's home! What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi, how was school today? School was fine. Hey. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so, okay, so. Uh, come on, princess, you know dad's not good at guessing. Okay, I'll help you. Alright. We had a composition about fathers to get at school. Okay. Guess who had the best composition? You. Yes. But do you know why? Tell me. Because I have the best dad in the whole world. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, but you know why you have the best dad in the whole world? Because daddy has the best daughter in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jemima, you are amazing. You make it so easy for me. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Come here. Oh. All right, so um, go upstairs and freshen up, okay? Lunch is almost ready. <laughs> The wife. Mm -hmm. How was your day? That comes second. Mm. <laughs> Listen, your daughter is starting to take my place. And you are not helping matters. Hey, I have no idea what you're talking about. You definitely know <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. Okay, why well, just go upstairs and freshen up, okay? Mm. I'll set the table. Of course mm. you will. Mm. Mm. Welcome back. I definitely have the best husband. Mm, yes, you do. <laughs> of course I do. Mm. <laughs> I'll be right. downstairs in a minute. Okay. Hello, Dr. K. I'm good. I, I think I am. But I need to come to the hospital to undergo some tests. I've been throwing up since yesterday and I feel really dizzy. Pregnancy test? Ah, oh, Doc. You know how disappointed I feel whenever it turns out negative. Oh, okay, I'm going to come to the hospital, but please don't tell my husband. I don't want to raise his hope and later dash it. Hey, babe. Hi, babe. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Were you on a call? Oh, yes, what call? Oh, okay. Well, uh, Jem and I are ready. I'll drop her off in school. All right. Thank you so much, darling. What are you thanking me for? For dropping Jem off in school. <laughs> Come on. You don't need to thank me for that. You know that girl is my princess. <sighs> mm. <laughs> Jealousy will kill you. <laughs> All right, baby. Take All care. Right. 
Mm. I'll see you. Alright. Take care. Um, hello, Dr. K. Are you in the hospital now? Because I want to come right away. All right, let me quickly have my bath. You don't want any banana? had this smile on your face since you got back from work, mm. right? Yeah. She's looking unusually yeah, happy. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's up? Care to share? Well, I do have good news, but I'd like you both to take a guess. Oh, come on. We don't like suspense here. Yeah, just spill it already. Mm-hmm. I will, but I insist that you both take a guess. I'm waiting. <sighs> okay. Um, you got promoted at work? Mm, no? Nah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're pregnant. Uh, you know what? Let's just eat. I'm sure mommy will tell us when she's ready. Well, what if Jemima was right? I'm pregnant. Mom, are you serious? Yes, I went to the doctor for a test today and the result came out positive. Oh my goodness. You, you're really pregnant? Yes, I, I had to tell him to do the test over and over again and he did it over again and he was positive. Oh my goodness. 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 <laughs> so, we really are expecting a baby? Mm-hmm. We are. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. I'm finally having my own sibling. Yes, you will. Oh, oh thank you. Why are you thanking me? We did this together. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Well, well, the baby better be a boy, so mom can finally stop being jealous of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so happy like I'm the one pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, how hard it's been for us to get pregnant after I had Jemima. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm so happy to have a man like Kinsley. He's a very nice man. Yes. And he stood by you all through the years. Yes. Kinsley is such a blessing. Mm -hmm. I am so thankful to have him. The way he loves me and mm -hmm. more especially the way he loves Jemima. <laughs> I get jealous sometimes. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you know, yeah. let's just more happiness. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> See, I am super happy for you guys, my friend. Yeah, man. Because I know how long you have waited for this moment. I'm telling you, and this this happened at, at the most unexpected time. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> this is what happens when lovers make love. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Yeah, but, but, you know, we had even, like, we had stopped making love for the purpose of having a child. Mm. Yeah, we, we were just, you know, just doing it mm. and just having fun. Just yeah, uh, we kind of gave up on the whole thing at some point. Uh, but the big story is Jemima is going to be a big sister. Oh yeah. Yes. 
It's just that. <laughs> She's so excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, man. Yes, mom. You need to be fast, okay? Your daddy will soon be downstairs. Morning, Dad. Morning, Jem. Oh, hi, babe. Hi. Are you leaving already? Uh, uh, yes. Won't you take Jemima to school? No, I mean. You, you should take her. I'm, I'm late for a meeting, okay? Thanks, Lee. Thank you. Kinsley, I am talking to you. What? Well, what is it? What was that about? What was it about? The way you walked out of the house? How else was I supposed to walk? On my hands? Or on my head. What is wrong with you? Huh? What's with the attitude? There's nothing wrong with me, okay? I'm there, just... There is nothing wrong with you. Then why are you asking me to take Jemima to school? I'm late for work. I'm not even dressed yet. It's your turn to take her. Yeah, but I'm trying to make you understand. I have an early appointment, okay? I need to go... Early appointment? Then you couldn't even look at your daughter. Look, can we talk about this when I come back, okay? I need to go. I'm running late. What's with your attitude, Kingsley? What? Please, let's just talk about this when I get back You know work, there okay? is no way I am letting you leave this house in anger. Who says I'm angry? I'm not angry, okay? See? Smiling face. I'm not angry. I'm late for a meeting. Please. Please. Who sent this? I haven't the faintest idea. I've been calling that number since I got the text last night and it's not going through. Why would someone send you such a message? I really don't know. This is crazy. Dude, what if this person knows something? Something I don't. What if I run a DNA test and it comes back that Jemima is not my daughter? Are you even considering it? Do think about it. If, if, if Jemima is not my daughter, my life is, is ruined. 
my my marriage is ruined. My my family is ruined. Everything is ruined. Okay. And what if you run the DNA test and it comes out negative? Do you think Kamara will even forgive you? See, there is no way that Jemima isn't your daughter. Like, come on, the kind of bond you have with this girl is only the kind of bond a biological father would have with his daughter. I swear to you, I, I, I love that girl to bits. I love her with, with everything that makes me me. I love her with my whole life. I can't even consider the possibility that she's not my daughter. You see, and, and you trust your wife, right? Yeah. <laughs> so why are you getting yourself all walked up over a mere text message? This doesn't feel like a mere text message. It, it, it feels like this person knows something. So are you going to run the test? I have to know. I, I, I don't think I have a choice now. How are you going to tell Kamara about all this? She... She doesn't have to know. I don't have to tell her. Just do whatever you have to do, man. Just make it work. Where is this man? He's not even taking my calls. Jemima, why are you not sleeping already? Um, he isn't back yet. Don't worry, Daddy will soon be home. But I can't go to sleep if he isn't back. Daddy is having a long day at work. Is that what he told you? Come on, Jemima, he will soon be home, okay? Just go to bed. But, Mom, I... Jemima, go to bed. Immediately. Okay, okay. Doesn't matter, I'm home now. Doesn't matter? You're home now? I don't deserve an explanation. There's there's no explanation. Kingsley, did you drink? Have you started drinking? I am talking to you. You need to say something to me. You left home in the morning the way you did and now you're coming back like this. Jemima has been worried about you. I even had to force her to go to bed. I... Oh. I'm home now, okay? That's all that should matter. Can I breathe? Thank you. Kingsley! I'm confused. What exactly is the problem? I'm as confused as you are. You mean Kingsley started acting up out of nowhere? Yes. And you did nothing wrong to him? I didn't do anything wrong to him. If I did something wrong to Kingsley, he would always tell me. He doesn't keep anything from me. 
is obviously hiding something from you. I think he's back. Daddy! Hi. You were out before I woke up. Yeah, um, I had an early appointment. Hi. I miss you. Mm. Mm. Do you mind my put you away? Yes, sir. Not sure. Something is wrong. Mm. You saw that, right? Mm. Is anyone extending it to Jemima? I don't know what has gotten into Kingsley. I don't know what I did to him. <sighs> Kamara, you need to talk to him. You need to know what's wrong. We both know that Kingsley isn't like this. Something is obviously wrong. It might have nothing to do with you. He's your husband. Please just talk to him. Okay? You don't understand. troubled it's obvious I thought we told each other everything not only are you keeping something from me you're transferring the aggression to me and our daughter it's so funny that you changed ever since I told you I was pregnant. I thought this is what we wanted. This is what we prayed for. And now that I am pregnant, you're treating me like this. This is so sad. Well... I would always be here anytime that you want to talk. We are here. Ooh, where 
damage has been done things have gone so wrong it suddenly feels like we never belong no more it used to be so beautiful it used to be so wonderful It's so painful All that is happening is so painful Will it stay this way? Oh no I pray that someday It will go away And things will come back The way they used to be how did we get here? So different from where we were. Where we were. Now that we are here. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can we ever oh. get back? What we have. Come back, come the back. The love we had. Ooh. 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 How did we get? How did we get here? Ooh, so different, so different from where, where we, we were. were. Now that we are here, now that we are here, where do we go from here? Can we ever get back? What we had? Hello, Jidina. Yeah, Kinsley, how far? Oh, all good, bro. I took the samples in for the tests. Okay. Yeah, they said I should come back in three days for the results. Okay. Uh, are you sure you're prepared for the results? <sighs> how prepared can I be, really? I just have to know what I have to know. You're right. I'll try. I'm about to have the worst three days of my life. And after this, it might get better or it might even get worse. No, let's not even talk about the worst side. It's going to get better. You will find my man. You will be fine. I hope so. All right. All um, right. I'll call you later. All right.
Starting on Tinatel tomorrow. Did you hear what I said? I said I'm starting on Tinatel tomorrow. Okay. Are you coming with me? No, I can't. I have an appointment tomorrow. And this appointment is more important than antenatal. Oh, come on, please. It's just antenatal. Stop making it sound like it's so serious. It's not serious. Maybe not as serious as the appointment that needs my attention. Oh, Kingsley, you're starting to get on my nerves. Why exactly do you need me at your antenatal? What do you mean by what do I need you for? You are the father of my child. How sure am I of that? Excuse you? You know what? I'm just gonna leave the table for you since I can't eat in peace anymore. Kinsley! Kin Kinsley! Kinsley, what's the meaning of that? I, I'm not in the mood for this. You're not in the mood for what? You've been doing this of recent and I've been overlooking and making excuses for you in my head. But what you just did in front of our daughter? That is so low of you, Kingsley. How dare you? How dare you question the fatality of the child that I'm carrying? What is wrong with you? Do you need help? Well, we will know soon. And what's the meaning of that? Kamara, we will know soon. Kingsley, what does that supposed to mean? Listen, Kingsley, I am getting sick of this. You need to speak up and tell me what is bothering you. Or better still, get back to being your usual self. Because this, what you're doing, is getting to me and Jemima. Get yourself together, okay? Please. just got the results. And what does he say? Kinsley, please tell me Jemima is your daughter. No. No, bro, she's not. She's not my daughter. Oh, no. <sighs> Jemima is not my daughter. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I can't believe it's... I could have sworn with my life that that Kamara would never cheat on me, let, let alone make me father a child that's not mine. I'll be lying if I say I can feel your pain right now because you alone know how much 
respond to these hordes. So where are you and, and what are you going to do? <sighs> um, I'm, 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 I'm packed by the road. I, I don't even know what I want to do. I, 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 I just know I, I, I can't go home. I'm definitely not going home. You want to come over? Uh, no. No, I just... I want to be by myself. I'll call you later. with you. He's not home yet. Kinsley isn't home? No, he's not. Is he not with you? No, uh, have you tried to? Kinsley is getting on my last nerves and he's driving me crazy. Kamara, is everything okay? Everything is not alright, Judith. It's past midnight and Kinsley is not home. I have called his number, he's switched off. I called his friend and he's not there. This is serious, sir. It is driving me crazy. Just calm down, okay? I cannot calm down, Judith, okay? I don't know why. I don't know why Kinsley is doing this to me. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I'm sure. Judith, I don't deserve this. My daughter and I, we don't deserve this. Jemima, <laughs> you should be sleeping by now. That is isn't home. has changed. He's all like himself these days. It's okay, Chimaima. He's going to come around. Is it because you're pregnant? Come on. This has nothing to do with the pregnancy. Come. Dad is going to come around. Okay. But I don't want you to cry. I'm an adult and I can take care of myself, okay? Don't worry. He's going to come around. Kingsley, where are you coming from? Go back to your room, Jemima. Well, I'm, I'm almost late for school. Go back to your room! Right now! Did you just yell at her? You should be happy all I did is yell at her. Because I could have done way worse than that. Now you're acting crazy. I'm acting crazy? Yes, you are. You didn't think I would find out. Now that I did, I'm acting crazy. What are you talking about? You know, all this time, I felt like I had 
bagged myself the best woman in the world. Little did I know that I've been living with a snake all this time. How dare you? How dare you refer to me as that? You know, I wish that I actually felt the pain of that slap. But I didn't. Because I have received the hardest slap that any man can ever receive. Read it. Read it. This is bullshit. Really? Yes, really. Bullshit as well. I ran a paternity test. And to my biggest surprise, Jemima is not my daughter. Go figure. After I got that message, I prayed. I prayed, I prayed so hard that it was just some stupid joke that someone was trying to play on me. But my prayers didn't change anything because my peace was stolen and I had to know. So, I ran a paternity test. And here we are. All this time, you knew you cheated on me. And you kept it to yourself. You knew there was a possibility that I wasn't the father of that girl. And you let me bond with her all these years. You let me taste what fatherhood is. Only to end up here? Why? Why did you do this? You're not saying anything. You look shocked. You look surprised. Why exactly are you surprised? You're surprised you got caught? You thought you were going to take this secret to your grave, didn't you? I just have one question. Who is the father? You know what? I'll let you think about it. After all, who knows? There might be more than one option. What? You need to keep your voice down. Jemima is upstairs. Do you want her to hear you? <laughs> what do you mean Kisley is not Jemima's father? Honestly, I'm as shocked as you are. I didn't even know who sent him that test. I didn't even know he was going to go and run a test. Do you think he might not be the father? 
you know, thinking about it now, there is only one possibility. But I didn't put an importance on it. Wait, wait. Are you talking about... Uh... Yes. He's the one. Are you serious? This is a problem. This is a big problem. You see? You see how messy this is. So, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to tell him the truth? Tell him the truth so he can throw me out of the house. Oh, you think your marriage is still secured when he has found out that Jamema is not his biological daughter? So now you think the only way I can secure it is by telling him who the father is? I really don't see how this will end badly. Regardless how you're going to go about it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe my marriage is going to crash. What's going to happen to the baby in my womb? <laughs> well, can't think of it. It's all Kinsley's fault. I don't know why you're blaming yourself. Yeah. Yes. It's Kinsley's fault. It's his fault. I mean, there's a story behind it. And if we're to be honest, Kinsley messed up first. So stop blaming yourself. Calm down. Okay? Can we talk? Are you ready to tell me who the father of your daughter is? If not, I suggest you make yourself comfortable in another room. Because I'm not about to make myself a mother. Go to your room, Jemima. Don't make me repeat myself. Go to your room now. you to spend more time in your room henceforth. Do you understand? Yes, Dad. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, Brad. Good afternoon. How was school today? Um, school, school was fine. Um, our PT meeting is on Monday. Will you attend? Nope. But you used to love it. I stopped. Why? I just stopped. Besides, those PTA meetings are boring. Oh. So, taking me to school and dropping me off is boring too? Oh, um, Jemima, go to your room. I know that you're hurt. I know that you're disappointed. But can't you just let out your frustration on me and leave Jemima out of this? She's innocent. Oh. So you're now going to teach me how to be angry as well? I'm just saying No, that. you don't! You don't open your filthy mouth and talk to me that way! You don't! So, what exactly do you expect me to do now? You expect me to keep attending the PTA meetings of a child that's not mine? Huh? As what? As the fool that I have been all these years? You expect me to keep fooling myself? Huh? You better go tell her father that he has PTA meetings to attend. And also tell him that he has a lot of money to refund to me because I promise you I will get every penny back that I have spent on that girl. Alright. I heard what you said. But do I need to remind you that you're the genesis of all this? So don't you yell at me as if you're a saint. You caused this. You brought us to this junction. Oh. Uh, oh, she blames me. Yes, she blames you. Because you did your own and came out scot-free. And I did mine and came out with a daughter. Does not make me a bad person. You seem to have forgotten what you did. You did what? Mm -hmm. Why is your face like this? Why are you looking like I committed an abomination? Of course it's an abomination for you as a married man to give out your contact to such voluptuous woman. Uh, okay, dude, let's not forget who we're talking about here, okay? It's Sandra, our friend from school. Oh, you mean your crush? See, Kinsley, you cannot fool me. I know how madly in love you and Sandra were back then in school. Okay, okay. Operative word, where? Okay, that was then. I'm married now. That's the exact reason you shouldn't have given her your number. <sighs> Guy, you're, 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 you're taking this thing too far, okay? I simply reconnected with an old friend. Okay, besides, I told her that I'm married now. Okay, this is not what you're, you're making it out to be. Okay, if you say so, I'll rest my case. Fine. <laughs> ah. Okay. But anyway, you should have seen her, man. She's a lot more beautiful than she was back then. Now, Kinsley. Kinsley. What? Guy, I'm just telling you. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just telling you a fact, okay? It's not, it's nothing. Guy, your mind is still young for this shit. I know, okay? And look, I, I, I'm not telling you that I want to have anything to do with, with her. Come on. I, I, I love my wife, you know this, and I have eyes only for her. It's better remains that way. Guy, calm down it's now. It's better remains that way.
Halo. Hey, married man. Sandra. Yeah, it's me. Hold on. Sandra, you just called me married man, and you're calling me by this time of the night? Oh, you're bad. You didn't tell me when to call. Nice excuse. Um, I've actually been waiting for this call for some days now. I'm still trying to digest the fact that you're a married man. This is a hard pill for me to swallow. <laughs> I can see you're still the drama queen I used to know. You couldn't even wait for me to return so we can get married. You left the country without even telling anyone. How about we start there? Maybe if you had expressed your feelings back in the days, you would have known. You knew? So what makes you think I didn't know? I was waiting for you to grow some balls for you to confess your feelings, but you never did. The guy grew some pride instead. How did you know that? Because I wanted you to ask me out, but you never did. And I also wanted to ask you out too, but my friends talked me out of it. So, you're saying if I had asked you out, then you would have gone out with me? Do you know what? Why don't we hang out this weekend? We have some catching up to do. I agree. <sighs> okay. Um, same place we met on Saturday. 5 p.m. Sounds like a plan. See you. All right then. Bye. Hey, babe. Hey. I'm stepping out for a bit. You going out? Yeah. Going to hang out with Jadenna. Oh. You didn't mention that to me. Well, it wasn't planned. He just called me and asked if we could hang out. Is it okay if I go? Alright. Okay. It's fine. We'll make sure that you come home early. I sure will. Mm. Take care. Alright. I'll see you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh well. I can't wait to see your wife. Really? Yeah. You want to meet her? Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to see the woman that got what I wanted so bad. Okay, well, um, I can't wait for you to meet her as well, but hey, enough talk about me and my wife and, you know, my family and all that. Tell me about you. Is there a man in your life? I don't have any man in my life and I don't think I will. Why? Because I'm done with men. I've been broken, cheated on, played on too, and I'm done with men. I'm done. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to be sorry about that. I guess sometimes we don't get what we want, or the smarter ones get it before us. So? 
there is no man out there for me. Probably the man I needed is someone else's husband. So... There's a friend of mine I want you to meet. Okay. Or should I rather say uh, she would like to meet you? She? Yeah. Yes, Sandra was a friend from way back in school. Uh, we lost contact since we left school and recently reconnected. And you want me to meet her? Yeah. It's not a big deal, is it? Well, I don't think it sounds right. Well, you know all of my friends. And if I've recently reconnected with an old friend, I just... I just think you should be updated. Okay. When is she coming? Tomorrow. That is so soon. Yeah, yeah, I I'm sorry. Truth is, I, I should have told you sooner. I just didn't know how you would react. But if you're not okay with it, it's fine. I can just call it off, it's fine. You know, I can never have a problem with your friends, can I? Let me just quickly finish this so we can go to bed. All right. <coughs> hey, Sandra, are you here? Huh? Yes. Welcome. Come in. Oh, come thank in. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. 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 Hey. oh, hey. Baby. Yeah. My friend is here. Meet my friend Sandra. Sandra, my wife. Come oh. on. Wow. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Please sit down. Oh, okay. You're really beautiful. Now I see why my friend keeps talking about you. <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful too. Wow. It's so lucky to have you. Well, I'm lucky to have Kingsley too. I mean, he's every woman's dream. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I know, right? I just remember those days back then in school when all those girls were fighting over you. Like, fiscal combat. <laughs> really? Excuse oh, me. Yeah. I have no idea what she's talking about. So you must have been some sort of bad boy in school. Uh -huh. Come on, spill it. Spill the tea. Why not? <laughs> Excuse Hello? Are you really going to do this? Yeah. Don't forget you're just meeting her. This is women supporting women exactly <laughs> all right let me go and set the dining we'll continue this discussion later oh yeah yep <laughs> yes. i'll be right back <laughs> really mm -hmm. i'll get it okay oh look who the cat's dragged in oh what's you <laughs> look who's here <laughs> hey, Sandra? <laughs> oh my goodness! Come on! Wow! It's, it's, it's been a while. Yes! <laughs> Whoa! I asked of you, and I was just surprised to hear that you both are still best of friends. Yeah, it's because we never lost our contact. Unlike some people who cut everyone off. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Trust me, there's a reason. Well, it, um, it's good to have you back. 
same here. <laughs> um, sit down, bro. Um, no, can we just talk outside? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excuse, excuse. Okay. What's wrong with you? I don't understand. What is Sandra doing in your house with your wife? Sandra wanted to meet Kamara. And you let her? Why not? Dude, like you bring a female friend to your home? You, you make it sound like that's a taboo. Who on earth allows their wife know they're keeping female friends? I have nothing to hide, so I don't see why not. Oh God, guy, these things don't end well. You don't bring a female friend to your matrimonial home. Apparently, you're the only one who thinks that way. Sandra and Kamara are getting along just fine, and I'm loving it. And I'm warning you. Can we go back inside and join them? Are you coming? Again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. I'm sure um, Kinsley wasn't expecting you. That's why he went out. And who is there to see Kinsley? He's an old friend. I decided to pay a visit to my new friend. Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> You're welcome once again. Thank you. <laughs> oh. This is my favorite show. Are you for real? <laughs> oh wow. That is my favorite show too. Oh, I think we have something in common. Really? Yes. I wouldn't miss an episode for anything. <laughs> you got the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I am telling you, I have never laughed so hard in a long time. <laughs> Same here, the, like, the moment I saw you, you would get along. You see? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> my husband's friend is now becoming my best oh, yeah. Never <laughs> say never. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. Um, Sandra, this is my friend, Judith. Judith, this is my husband's friend, Sandra. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> See you some other time. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care Bye. of yourself, okay? Okay. Um, did you just say that is your husband's friend? Yes. My husband, we connected with her some days ago. She came to the house and today she decided to come visit me. Ah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What is it? What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Hey! What's hey, 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 hey? What are you saying? Baby, you're still not ready. Oh, yeah, babe, but I'll soon be ready. Give me 10 minutes, stops. We're going to be very late. Just 10 minutes, I'll be done. All right, let me get the car ready. Okay. okay. Is there a problem? Um, I just got a text from Sandra. She said she's very sick at home and she's alone. Oh no. She wants me to come help her get medication. All right, we are going to do that on our way. Let me quickly finish up. Yeah. Okay, why, why don't I just quickly go, help her get the medication, and then come back and get you? But babe, we are going on a date, okay? So why don't we get the medication, drop for her, and then we go from there? It's easy that way. Yeah. Well, she lives this way, and we're going this other way. So it's not on the same route. I think it's better that I just 
quickly go help her get the medication and then come back and get you. By then you'll be done with your makeup. Babe, this could be a life and death situation. Oh, baby, please it's just... Let me just go, okay? Baby, please. no, let me it's just... Right. I'll see you. Huh? Just quickly get ready. Oh. Hello. Oh, you're here. Okay, fine. Um, just keep straight. Come upstairs. Second room by your left. Yes. Okay, fine. I'm waiting. <laughs> has been done Things have gone so wrong It suddenly feels like we never belong no. Come to in be So beautiful It used to be So wonderful Hi Hey. No. I um I got you some medication based on the symptoms you described. Thank you, Kinsley. I'm so sorry. Sandra, you're you're not running a temperature. I just think I, I'm lacking vitamins. Vitamins, okay, that's good. That's good. I, um good thing they also added some multivitamins in here. Where, uh, where can I get you water? I Let me need all kitchen, of right? This. No, I don't need all of this. I need vitamin U. Hello? Baby? Hello, baby? Really? Hello, baby? Kixley, we are supposed to go on a date. Where have you been? <sighs> baby, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You, uh, you, won't, you won't believe the, the kind of traffic I, I got stuck in. Uh, I've been stuck in traffic. And you didn't think to pick up your phone and call me? I, I, I thought I could, you know, take that um, uh, that alternative route and, and get home on time. I, I'm on my way, okay? I'll so baby. Shit. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did this. Don't worry. She won't suspect. Don't you dare say that! Just, just stop talking! You, you made me do this! And you went round? This is not even funny. Does your wife give it to you hey, like I did? Don't you, don't you dare talk about my wife right now! Fuck! Husband man! Will I 
mixtape is away. Oh no, I pray that someday he will go away and things will come back the way they used to be. How did we get here? So different from where we were, where we were. Now that we are here, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Can we ever oh. get back what we have? We Oh my goodness! Oh. Peacock now. Ah. What have I done? What have I done to myself? How, how, how did I let this happen? Hello? Hello? Judith? Uh, yes? My, 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 wife, my wife is there with you, right? And why do you care? Come on, Judith, please. I, I, I know, I know she has told you what happened, but please, is she okay? Is she fine? Oh yes. She's here partying, drinking and dancing. Oh, come on, please, stop being sarcastic, okay? Please, just, just tell me how she's faring. Look, I, I, I get what you're saying, okay? But please, I, I, I made a mistake. Help me beg her. Please, just plead with her on my behalf, please. You should do whatever you have to do yourself. Whenever you see her. Till then, good night, Mr. Kingsley. Uh, Judith, hello? Bro, I am going to skip the parts where I warned you about this. Let's just face what is on ground now. The deed has been done, but the question is, what happens to your marriage now? It's been five days since your wife left the house. And for me, the first thing you have to do is to bring her back home and do whatever it takes to get her forgiveness. She, she, she doesn't even want to see me. She doesn't want to set eyes on me. I, 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 I've, I've called her severally. I've sent her messages. She's ignored everything. I've even been to her friend's place so many times and they won't even open the door for me. I, what am I supposed to do? Man, this is serious. This is very serious. I'm just so stupid. I, I'm stupid. My marriage is just eight months old and look at, look at what I've done. I could have resisted Sandra, and I didn't. And now Kamara is going to leave me because of it. Yeah, no, I, I hope she doesn't. Please, I, I, I need you to talk to her for me. I need you to plead with her on my behalf. Please, just help me out. I'll do my best. Come on. You don't have to say anything to me. I'm just here to pick up some of my stuff. Baby, please. I'm so sorry. You, I feel terrible. I, I, I'm so ashamed of myself. Please, I beg you. I, 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 I messed up, okay? I know you don't deserve what I did to you. 
You don't deserve to see what you saw. I, 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 I've, I've messed up and I, I, I would do everything within my power to make it right. I should have avoided that temptation, but I didn't. I, I, I'm so sorry. I've learned my lesson and I promise you, it will never repeat itself again. I swear to you on my life, it will never ever happen again. Please, please don't leave me. Baby, please. I can't live without you. I can't afford to lose you. Please. Please find it, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, baby. Baby, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me. So how is the situation of things right now? We hardly talk. And we sleep in separate rooms. Oh, it's really sad. Your marriage is too young for this right now. You know, I love Kingsley <laughs> so much. But I feel betrayed. I don't think I can get over it. <clears throat> they make things even. How do you mean? He cheated on you. You don't see yourself forgiving him. You still love him and you still want to be in this marriage. Of course I do. Then cheat on him and make things evil. What? What is what? That is what you should do or you will never get over it. In fact, it will keep on haunting you. What? You... You want me to cheat on my husband? The man that just cheated on you on your matrimonial bed? How oh, are Kamara? What a man can do, a woman can do also. Who says men has the right to cheat and be forgiven, but women can't? You know what? Get back at him. Cheat on him with someone he will least expect. And see how peaceful and relieved you will get from it. <sighs> and after that, you close that chapter then you two can live happily ever after. So, you cheated on me as a revenge? That was the only way I could find peace. So I thought. Who is he? Who is he? You better start talking! Who the hell is the father of that bastard? Don't you dare call my daughter a bastard! Who is the father? I know her father. Who is he? I know her father! Who the hell is he then? Who is her father? Chidema. I am um, 
my my husband went on a business trip and I don't know, it feels like someone is in my compound walking around. I don't, I don't know if you can come over to the house. Uh, yes, yes, I know it's late, but I would really appreciate if you could come. Alright, thank you. Someone, the person even trying to open the door with another keyboard. Damn it, you're not safe. Eh? I, I should get out of here. No, 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 no. I, I can't leave my house. I, I just need you to stay here with me. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. That's fine. I'll stay with you. And um, you're safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, sit down. Um, uh, let, let me get us a drink. A drink? Yes, we need a drink so we can stay we can keep watch. Yeah, we need to be busy so we can talk about any and everything. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. All right. All right, thank you. Let me... <coughs> okay, I'm coming. We have the night to ourselves. Don't you think we should make use of it? What are you talking about? I'm talking about let us go into my matrimonial bedroom and do exactly what my husband did. No, 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 no. I, I can't do that. Nobody's going to hear about it. It's going to be between you and I. Come.
had slept with my friend shortly before you got pregnant and you still broke the news to me like you were sure it was mine you watched me become the happiest man on earth and raise that child and you never thought to mention this to me you and Jidena let me father a child that wasn't even mine you you both must have Taking me for a fool! I didn't think the baby was his, okay? It was just a one-time thing. A one-time thing that led to her! Seriously? Are you even remorseful? I couldn't have cheated on you if you didn't cheat on me. Oh, please! You could have walked away if you knew you couldn't forgive me! You could have walked away for your own good and for the good of your child! How are you going to tell her that I'm not her father? I'll come back to you. So, how dare you? How dare you? You were my friend. I opened up to you. I told you everything. And, and you did this. You had a snake in my garden. You, you should be glad I made you know about it. So you sent that text? Yes, I did. I, I felt there was a possibility that the girl is mine. Okay. Yes. You slept with my wife. You that you're right I should have left when I realized I wasn't going to forgive you without the revenge my revenge is no justification for my action now I understand how my action has hurt you so deeply. I'm sorry. I know you need your space. So my daughter and I, we are going to leave. I hope, I just hope that for the sake of our one child, 
you forgive me. Jemima, let's go. Wait. Wait. This is as much my fault as yours. As a matter of fact, I'm to blame for everything. I should never have cheated on you in the first place. There are things that have no place in marriage. And infidelity is one of them. Because once that door opens, it's very hard to close. And things just get worse. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You're still my wife. And Jemima. Jemima is always my daughter. I'm sorry about everything. I don't want you to go. I don't want another father. You're always my daughter, Jemima. No matter what. Could you forgive Mum? <laughs> 